Yesterday we reported on the dino-sized weekend taking place on October 28th through the 29th, where players can play Sealed, Draft, and a special four-pack draft. One of the big prizes for the weekend will be a mini poster with artwork that was revealed yesterday between the filming and airing of yesterday's episode. The original poster that was released had a typo in the tagline, and Trick Jarrett of Wizards of the Coast has confirmed that this typo was only on the digital image and will not appear in the physical posters given out to players. If the art style looks familiar, with several commentators comparing it to the Stranger Things promotional material, that's because it was illustrated by the same artist, Kyle Lambert. The Exelon pre-release is coming up this weekend, and what pre-release would be complete without Kathleen going overboard with preparation? In the newest episode of Friday Nights from Loading Ready Run, Kathleen drags James, Cam, and Alex out into the woods for some hands-on dino training, while Graham and Paul work out which commander deck is better, pirates or dinosaurs, without the benefit of having the cards available. While the Lure crew was preparing in less practical ways, there are other resources to help you with your pre-release. First, Megan and Maria from Magic the Amateuring compile a list of the top 10 rares you should avoid for Ixalan Sealed. Building around your rares is very tempting, and they don't want you to fall into a trap with one of these new cards. Also to help you prepare, Rhino at MTG Young Mage released a video of the top 8 mistakes to avoid at the pre-release, from playing too many cards to figuring out your mana base. Of course, after the pre-release is over, we'll be getting into a whole new standard format with the release of Ixalan and a whole new season of Grand Prix events to both watch and play. In an article on the Magic homepage today, Mike Rosenberg of Wizards of the Coast shows off the new playmats and t-shirts that go with this new season. From Grand Prix Providence and Shizuka on September 30th through GP Santa Clara in January of next year, you can pick up this shirt featuring a raging dinosaur at the prize walls. You can also check out the full lineup of playmats, including for the increased amount of team events next season, in the article. Over the next couple of weeks, you also had the opportunity to get your hands on another set of playmats that players have been asking for. John Avon has begun a Kickstarter for playmats featuring the art from all five of his unhinged basic lands. There are regular, early bird, and very early bird tiers for each of the individual playmats, as well as the bundle of five, so make sure to check soon to get the best deals. The production of these is already guaranteed as they reached their fundraising goal within 45 minutes of launching the Kickstarter. If you've attended some of the larger Grand Prix events over the last year or watched coverage, you might be familiar with one of the youngest players on the circuit, Dana Fisher, who is now the subject of a mini documentary. 60 Second Docs produces documentaries of unique subjects and condenses them down to a one minute video with Dana being the subject of one of their most recent episodes. Dana explains how she got into magic through her dad and her drive to be the youngest person to day two a Grand Prix. Finally, we have to say a sort of farewell to magic content creators, Windmill Slam. In a video released today, Dennis and Oshin revealed that a couple of members of the Windmill Slam crew have been hired by Channel Fireball to do event marketing, so they will no longer be able to do videos for the Windmill Slam channel. However, they will still appear in marketing material for those events, including trivia shows at Grand Prix, so they're not entirely going away. Congrats to the crew and good luck in the future position. That's our show for today, September 21st. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all the latest magic news and strategy. I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this has been Split Second.